today I want to give you awareness about awake spine surgery. What is its importance, particularly with regard to endoscopy? Usually you get spine problems at the age of 50 years, 60, 70, 80, 90 years. In all these age groups, we commonly tend to see so many diseases, other diseases other than spine also, like diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, some sort of paralysis. So wherein there is a probability of heart weakness. So if in case, if these patients are suffering with some spine problem, if they have to undergo surgery and definitely in surgery they have to undergo anesthesia. Anesthesia is again like two types. One is general anesthesia where they put a small endotracheal tube inside your trachea to give oxygen to your lungs. That is done by the anesthetist with the help of a machine or with the help of a bag. And even your heart rate, your blood pressure is controlled by the anesthetist. But in view of all these diseases and in view of your age, in view of your sick heart, there is some amount of risk with general anesthesia. But at Panisha Spine Pain Ortho Sleep Center, we do all our spine surgeries, whether a open surgery or endoscopic spine surgery, we do under regional anesthesia, whether in spinal or epidural, wherein the patient can listen to the music, what he demands, as well as he can speak to the operative theater technicians surrounding him. And you may question like, when the patient is undergoing surgery, how can he be awake? Yeah, it is possible in regional anesthesia. We are experts to deliver anesthesia only that particular area. The advantage is the BP as well as the blood pressure as well as the pulse rate stands stable and patient himself or herself can be a neuro monitor wherein if in case if something is going wrong they will definitely give feedback. That's a beauty about awake anesthesia but wherein in general anesthesia patient is completely in deep sleep, deep sedation. Patient will not be in a position to give us feedback. In case during surgery inadvertently if something goes wrong with the surgeon and he damages the nerve we come to know only after the patient is awake after general anesthesia but damage is damage it's already done we cannot recover back that is a problem with GA but in regional anesthesia when we give with the help of a segmental epidural with only a sensory dose definitely patient is going to give the feedback before we completely damage you may be thinking about big big terms like IONM intraoperative neuro monitor even a machine the so called the neuro monitor also gives a feedback only the damage has already occurred after that in case we are putting screws definitely there is a scope for little to troubleshoot but not completely so that's what I want to bring it to your notice and overall with endoscopy I have already told you before in my previous videos there is no muscle cutting no bone cutting it's a single incision less than 6 mm that's a beauty you can do the surgery that's why at Panisha Spine Pain Ortho Sleep Center we give all our surgical cases whether open or endoscopy endoscopy particularly under regional anesthesia 100% guarantee that patient will never be bedridden or will land in paralysis. So this is what is the myth among most of the patients and we 100% give guarantee because of functional awake spine surgery. So that's the reason for last 8 years we have been operating endoscopically the spine surgery whether it is cervical, thoracic, lumbar with zero complications. I can proudly say we have operated more than 2500 cases for last 8 years with zero complications. None of the patients of us when we have done under endoscopy have landed in paralysis or weakness of the limbs. So this is all about awake functional spine anesthesia at Panisha Spine Pain Auto Sleep Center. Myself and Dr. Ramesh Gajala. Do subscribe my channel. We have only one branch at Upal Crossroads. Thank you.